Hello YouTube! Today I will show you a tutorial in Fruity Loops how to control the instruments and uh, filter and stuff uh, using a Korg nanopad. You can essentially use any kind of MIDI controller device but I will show you how it's done with the Korg. So first off I have uh, I have made a new song this is the old song by song or song but it's uh, simply a pattern and first of all you need to connect the Korg nanopad which I have already done and if you don't have you simply connect it go into the MIDI settings and you rescan until the nanopad appears and you enable it uh, these parameters I have recently discovered do the thing I will show you, but I didn't use them in my previous Korg video, so I will show you how I, I, how I have done now. So, first of all, I uh, think it's nice to show you. Uh, yeah, just show you how it, uh, how it will sound like. So here we go. <laughs> I simply assign my buttons to mute or unmute certain channels and uh, you can do this by right click this button you get a menu you have link to controller you click it and uh, then you can choose which which channel uh, and that means which uh, controller device and uh, which controller number which means uh, the button number each scene of the Korg Nanopad has different set of buttons. So if you uh, assign button one and then change scene, uh, the button one would be another button. Uh, <coughs> so you just uh, you can choose controller, or you can have this auto detect box, which is uh, checked by standard, and you just uh, hit the button you want to assign. One issue I have uh, discovered is that some buttons like my drum button here it only toggles and I don't really know why because I do the same I don't know if it's just an issue, issue with uh, my particular Korg nanopad device or if it's supposed to be that way I just don't know that but um, it, it works for me now and you can you can find another button then that not toggle it uh, does what you want so um, so you simply set up and you see I can uh, choose which, uh, which channels or instrument whatever you want to call it to be on mute or unmute and um, you can also in my previous video I controlled the filter with the pad here or the, the touchpad and uh, I have uh, this is the main base and here I have uh, oh I remove it. Well you can uh, see here free filter, it's kind of filter. You can here you see the frequency, you can link the controller and if you have auto detect on and you kind of uh, kind of that if you're really careful there you can make him uh, take just the you see this is the X and this is the Y so uh, I want to control the Q2. Now you see I can control different style. Uh, when you do this, make sure this is unchecked. Remove conflicts. I will uh, come to that later. You will see why. Because I am going to take that away. Oops. 
and I will replace that with a free filter tool. And if you have this remove conflicts checked, you cannot control. Now I control the both at the same time, as you can see. Actually, I don't want to have uh, the free filter there. I want to have another no, the, the, the fruity love filter. I want to choose this low path and I do the same thing here this box should be unchecked unless the fruit loot will forget and not control you see now I control both at the same time and if I have this one checked fruity filter master channel and I link that controller the green toggle controller to ah, the six button and if I have this unchecked when I link the controller and remember, remove conflicts, not checked now I can, now it's on and this filter is off now is this on so you can see I can uh, choose which, uh, which filter to be on and off so um, that's basically all I did on the, on the previous song and on this song and uh, if you do this, you can, uh, you can uh, do this kind of stuff. as a filter controller device you need to have the hold button uh, activated otherwise the, the filter will go to its middle setting when you're not touching the, the pad could, that could work too but um, then it will I, I can actually show you you see if I do that I move my finger jumps back you can always uh, take other filters and uh, set the number of uh, filters up and just a core to the different buttons and uh, change the scene if you want. Remember that if you have the whole button on and change the scene, the whole button will uh, be unactivated. So you need to, if you want to use that, you have to reactivate it every time you switch scene. Well, that's about it. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.